week one of the fantasy football season. And here's a few quarterbacks I have as sleeper options this week. The first guy, Jordan Love of the Green Bay Packers. Now the starting quarterback for this Green Bay Packer team. Obviously, Aaron Rodgers, he was traded off to the New York Jets in the offseason. And Jordan Love, he was a highly touted draft pick a few years ago in the second round by this Green Bay Packer team. So now it's his time. And we'll see what the kid got. So right here in week one, he's got a matchup with the Chicago Bears in Soldier Field. Obviously a tough matchup for opposing quarterbacks to come in and play, even though I know this bad defense isn't all that great. And he's got some decent weapons as Jordan Love as well with Christian Watson, Romeo Dobbs, the rookie read it as well at the wide receiver position. So I think he's got some weapons. Luke Musgrave at tight end as well, Jones and Dylan in the backfield. And this is a division matchup, obviously versus the Chicago Bears here. I know Christian Watson, he practiced so far this week here with the hamstring injury, but even with Watson out, I think Jordan Love could be a sleeper option with a decent matchup. He's got some wheels where he could put some rushing yards on the board as well for fantasy owners. And he's had a little training camp as well to practice and get ready for the season. So right now, Jordan Love, if you're in the deepest of leagues, two quarterback leagues or deep dynasty leagues or whatever the case, and you need a dart throw, even though in week one it is, and if you need a dart throw, that's not a good thing. But anyway, Jordan loves the sleeper quarterback this week. The second quarterback's Bryce Young of the Carolina Panthers. So Bryce Young, one of the top picks in the NFL draft, obviously, this season. And they went with Bryce Young here was the Panthers. So right now, there's not much on that offense. I know they signed Miles Sanders in the offseason, Adam Thielen, DJ Chark, but both those guys missed practice so far this week here. And even if they play, I best the, I think the best years behind Adam Thielen and DJ Chark. He's a decent wide receiver, but he's always nicked up as well. But right now, Bryce Young's got a pretty decent matchup with the Atlanta Falcons. We know this Falcon defense, it is isn't the greatest of defenses. And if it's a ball game where they're trailing early and often, is Caroline. I think Bryce Young's going to have to go out there and put the ball up a few 30, 40 times in this ball game. So right now... Like I said, Bryce Young was a top pick. They're throwing him into the fire right away here in week one is this Carolina Panther team. And he can make some plays with his legs as well as Bryce Young. So I think in this game, in the deepest of leagues, if you need a quarterback, like a two-quarterback or a deep dynasty league or something, I think Young could put up serviceable numbers here in week one. And he's out there right now in 82% of fantasy leagues and the third and final quarterback staying in the same game I have as a sleeper is Desmond Ritter of the Atlanta Falcons. So Ritter on paper, they got good offense. B. John Robinson, Tyrod Algier as the backs. Then you got Kyle Pitts, Drake London, Matt Collins. So he's got some weapons on that offense. He's got guys that could be playmakers. And he's got a good matchup here versus the Carolina Panthers that are one of the worst defenses in the league here. So with that all together, I think Ritter could put in a decent performance and be your sleeper option. But obviously all these guys are for the deepest of leagues. Or if you're desperate, so right now he's available 95% of leagues too as an option. So that's a few quarterbacks to have as sleepers for week one of the fantasy football season.